Hello and welcome to the University of Regina, Canada West basketball action between the Unibar Cougars and the U of S Huskies. This game has playoff implications that are too complex for us to explain to you, so we will just not do it until <laughs> we are told. My name is Adam Hunter. I'm joined by former Cougar Megan Chamberlain on the mic. Thanks for joining us tonight. And the Cougars want to not think about last night because it was a mix of them blowing the game and the Huskies taking it from them. The Cougars had a 16-point lead with six minutes left and lost. And a lot of it was on the back of Lawrence Moore, who went off in the fourth quarter. The Cougars hoping for a better result tonight. Hamilton scores for Regina. And that's the guy last night that was in a bit of foul trouble for the Cougars, who so didn't play as many minutes as expected. So hopefully he can stay out of foul trouble because he is the emotional leader on this team. What a pass. Chan DeSimmon throws a great pass there. And Barker finishes. Barker and Moore for the Huskies in their final regular season game as Sam Hillis knocks down the three. Barker last night was just a force on the glass for the Huskies. Did a great job really leading his team, helping to spark that comeback, along with Dewar, who's on the bench right now. So those are some guys to keep your eye on for the Huskies. Well, Barker puts it down. He's got four early. We'll get your set, starting lineups set in a second for you. Claire Juice to the basket, finishes. Well, Claire Juice, Hillis, Hillis, Hamilton, and Miller for the Cougars. Deciman a wide open for three, no good. And Miller pulls down the board. It's Akintundi, Robinson, Moore, Barker, and Deciman for the U of S. Huskies coached by Barry Rollick, Cougars by Steve Burrows. Carter Miller open for three, lets it go, rolls out. Big rebound by Claire Juice, and he finishes. And I love that combination. Usually you see the guard taking the shot and that post of the big rebound. Before the Cougars, Carter Miller able to stretch that defense out. He plays a stretch five. He can shoot that three-pointer. And Claire Juice, so quick, so athletic, right to the boards. Lawrence Moore, great pass inside to Barker. Kicks it to Akintundi, three on the shot clock. And he buries the three. Nice shooting so far for both teams. Third year player out of Saskatoon. Two starters from the city of Saskatoon on the Huskies. And Hillis finishes for the Cougars. And that's kind of a zone press killer there, getting the ball into the middle of the floor, kind of where you don't want the ball to be if you're the defense. It's just an easy two there for Sam Hillis. Sam Hillis already matching, I think, a scoring total from last night with five points. Lawrence Moore putting on a dribbling exhibition. No good rebound, Sam Hillis. Cougars look to push. Claire Juice with it off the dribble. Snakes in and finishes. Circus shot off the glass. Finish that with a little bit of a slip there on the floor. So really nice job there by Claire Juice. Well, Gresh was six early and a six-point lead for Regina. And Well, timeout from Coach Barry Rollick, and this is something that he doesn't do a lot of. Coach Rollick tends to sub players in, send messages in and out, rather than using one of his timeouts. And last night, he made that run without calling a timeout, really. I think maybe what Coach Rollick is seeing is that the points that the Cougars are getting, the scores are getting, they're not tough. There's no one in their face. It's quick layups. It's shooting threes with no one on you in transition. There's no real fight back here from the Huskies defensively, just kind of walking out there a bit. So just not happy with how his team has started. And once again, if you Oh, it's 13 to seven for the Cougars. Hamilton short. 
Offensive rebound to Ben Hillis. Finds his brother Sam. Quick release. No good. Hamilton pulls it down. So two quick boards for the Cougars. And that's no good. And it's going to go to the Huskies. So the Cougars get two old boards. Can't capitalize. And it'll go to the Huskies. 6.55 to go here on Canada West TV. First quarter action. Cougars lead 13-7. to Thank you for joining us this evening in the final regular season game of the Canada West season for these two teams. Oh. Great lob there by Moore to find a mofo. We saw those cross-court passes last night as well with that comeback from the Huskies. So going back to what worked last night. Job by Sam Hillis. Blocked by mofo. Gresh finds Hills in the short corner. And he stepped out of bounds. And a turnover by Regina. Cam Bounds coming into the game for Regina coming in for the U.S. Noah Nickel. So Noah Nickel checks in. Back a point guard for the Huskies. First year player out of Abbotsford. Wearing number zero. We'll also see for the first time tonight Alex Dewar, number six. And Alexander Dewar. Sorry, Addison Dewar is out there, number seven. Cougar sub in Cam Vallis. Third year player from Stockton, Cali. Two to shoot. Dewar almost gets it at the buzzer. And Carter Miller pulls down the rebound to Vallis. The Huskies doing a better job out of that timeout with that transition defense. Sam Hill is wide open, takes it to the basket and lays it in. That's that zone killer, that high post area. Robinson no good. And a big rebound by Carter Miller. It's his third of the game. Hamilton wants him to post on Dewar. Little shake, turn around, too strong. Hillis throws it away. Dewar with it on Miller. And we'll get a foul call on Hamilton reaching in. It's a good job by Dewar pushing the pace, taking it right at both big men there for the Cougars and drawing that contact. We're going to follow Miles Hamilton just first. Alex Dewar on the line. So Alex Dewar with the two free throws. Four point Cougar lead. As we have Nick Bernard into the game for the Cougars. Good press break by Regina and Carter Miller finishes it off. Well, that's a perfect way to break that press all with passes. I think there's about one or two dribbles in there. Gotta get the ball moving. Dewar, no good. A mofo all over the glass right now. Addison Dewar no good. Gets his own rebound. Huskies all over the glass right now. Nickel into the lane. Robinson. The Cougars try and clean it up. Can't. Only two to shoot. Nickel at the shot clock buzzer. No good. Didn't hit rim. Cougars getting out hustle here on the D glass. Was a warning there. We got a flop warning on Ben Hillis. I haven't seen that this season. Looking inside into the post here to Bernard. Big match, mismatch. Bernard rushed that one. Good help defense there from Dewar. And the Huskies will look to push it. Huskies four to shoot, turn around, no good.
Good hustle there from the big man trying to steal that ball. We're going to see almost a whole line change here for the Huskies. Seventeen eleven Cougars. Bernard Claire's used open for three. Nails it. He is on fire tonight so far. Nine points for Claire Juice. So Gresh has nine. So you more Deciman, Akintindi, Dewar, and Barker. Four or five starters out there for the Huskies. Good save there by Ben Hillis to his teammate. Ben Hillis off the glass. And to see more of that from Ben getting into the lane, creating his own shot. Oh, especially quick in transition like that. When they think he's just a three-point shooter, they are going to come out on you. So doing a good job taking advantage of that scouting report. More no good. And we get a foul call here on Joe Barker on the rebound. We'll get a look at it. Joe Barker will pick up the U.S. foul on the last hit. A well, different story than last night. We had about 20 free throws at this point last night. Just two with 2.35 to go in the first quarter. Miller and Akintuni gets his hand on it. The Cougars will inbound with 13 to shoot. Braden Kuski out there for Regina for the first time, number four. Vallis throws it to the Huskies, and it's going to come the other way with more. Deciman, pull up three. Good. And there's a guy we didn't see much of last night either because of his foul trouble. He ended up fouling out of this game. Hits his first three points tonight. Zero fouls so far. So a better start for sure for Joe Deciman. Cougars going away from the basket here on offense. Cover Miller open for three. He had a couple big ones last night, and he keeps it going. Miller for three. 25-14, Regina. 145 to go first quarter. Moore throws it right at Miller. And it's a two-on-two -two here. Bernard trail three long, and Barker pulls it down for the Huskies. Much more flow tonight than we saw last night, Megan, as I mentioned, with a lot of whistles early on. Yeah, way more flow. And you can see both teams seem to have a bit more energy as well to start this game. Huskies Bernard pulls just it down. a tough time shooting so far tonight. And a block by Deciman on Bernard. Laboldis on Laboldis crime there. And one as Nick gets the last laugh. Nick Bernard with the hoop for the Cougar. Although Desmond did have a really nice block there on Nick Bernard, but they forgot about him after that. Came back into the play wide open under the hoop. Good patience. So early sub here for the fifth year player, Cornell Tokley out of Hungary, who was honored before the game, two time academic All Canadian. Steve Burroughs with some nice words about Cornell here. Playing his final regular season game. And Bernard's free throw rolls out. 27-14, Regina, one minute to go here, first quarter. Huskies with the basketball. Moore with the slick step back. Can't get the bucket. And the Cougars will push the other way. Cam Vallis, step back himself, and he nails it. Vallis for the D2. Nice little game within the game there with Moore and Vallis. Yeah, and both teams doing a good job on their press breaks, getting the ball into the middle of the zone. There's a nice find. He hit last night as well. Addison Dewar knocks down the three. It's 29-17. Cougars can hold for the final shot. Ten seconds to play here in the first quarter. Good extra pass. Nick Bernard open for three. Buries it at the buzzer. A great job by Nick Bernard. Good ball movement by the Cougars. 
And that's a good offensive quarter for the Cougars, 32-17. They lead it, Megan. Uh, and it was a really good job, too. That last shot took the time, wasn't concerned about going down. One, two left on that shot clock there and taking his time. Nice stroke there from Bernard. Duke Gansteen providing the entertainment. Just a crazy out, uh, sc offensive scoring output from the Cougars here in the first quarter, Megan. 32 points. They scored 97 last night and lost. And I think for this team, it's about keeping the momentum going because they do get into lulls. And last time you saw in the fourth quarter at the wrong time. So I know the message from Steve Burrows is let's keep going. I think that having that lead, that 15-point lead, is actually a danger zone for the Cougars because, like you said, they kind of start to take their foot off the gas pedal a little bit, and there's 30 minutes left in the game. They need to keep going. They need to play a solid 40 minutes to beat a team as good as the Huskies. Good defense there by Regina. Run out. Kuski by himself. And Amofo pulls it off the backboard. And a foul by Claire Just in transition. And Amofo is just kind of been everywhere for the Huskies tonight, getting boards, getting some blocks. Yeah, he's going to be a problem. First year player, Max Amofo out of Akragana. And a three from Deciman. He has his own cheering crowd here tonight. Of course, his Sister, Phoebe Desmond, big, big all-time Cougar post for the women's team. National champ. I think basketball, it's safe to say basketball runs in his blood. And there's a turnover by Regina as Vallis and Claire Juice get their signals crossed. And here's Miles Hamilton in there. Tokely, Hamilton, Kuski, Claire Juice, and Vallis for Regina. Deciment has had to hit a couple here. Looking for a shot. Nice. What a fight there from Mofu. Cougars getting outworked here inside. Cookie with the foul is first. Back to Mofu at the line. Well, 32-21, Regina. Vallis, nice little runner in the lane. He was quiet offensively last night. Cam's got a couple buckets here. Both had a little flavor on them. A couple of California kids going at it right now between Moore and Vallis. McIntundi blocked. 
And Miles Hamilton has it. Finds Vallis. What a strip. And they strip by Robinson. Parker and Alex Dewar will come back into the game for the Huskies. For the game for Redan, number 13, Carter Miller. Carter Miller with it. Ballas owns long. Miller ended up on the floor of the attack line there. Not sure what happened. He's going for a dig. Desmond can't get it to go. I think he called him out of, out of bounds on the rebound. This is one thing the Cougars do really well is they can run so deep into their bench. But that's why they're always able to have that Sleek running game. Yeah. They're a well balanced team, deep team. Hamilton, tough turnaround. I That's long. That one, three guys on you, that needs to be a kick out somewhere. But no real movement happening for the Cougars on the outside when the ball gets in. Cougars lost Deciman there. Akin Tundi doing work on the glass. Cougars really getting outworked. Actually. On the had to jump over his own teammate, Barker, in order to get that one up. Great job by Carter Miller. 15-point Cougar lead. Fouls called on Ben Hill as his first. Alex Dewar at the line shooting. So far, both teams taking the exact same amount of shots in 28, just the Cougars have been a little more successful. 16 of 28, Huskies 7 of 28. Offensive foul on Moore. So now Moore has two fouls and zero points. We saw this last night, though. He got those two fouls early, and then with seven minutes left in the game, just went off. So even though he has two fouls and zero points, I don't think it's going to stay that way for long. He won't be on the bench very long. 36-23 Cougars. And this is a, a timeout by Steve Burrows where he wants his, his offense get in some rhythm. We've seen a few contested shots, some rush shots. And I think he wants the team... Just to get in a better rhythm on offense. I mean, they haven't really been doing what was working for them before. Running, hitting the middle of the court, getting those backdoor cutters. Right now, it's just kind of been a throw the ball into Miles Hamilton and let him go one-on-one -on -one in the post. When you throw the ball into the post off the first side of your offense, everything's set, everything's ready. There's not going to be a lot of movement there. They need to move the ball around, run a play, then get the ball into the post. So 6.58 to go on the half. Cougars lead it by 13. Tough time to take a foul there. Five on the shot clock. Nothing really happening for the Cougars offensively. Hamilton with it. Um, 
Coach Barry Rollick, he's less than happy with that foul call. I can tune with two quick ones. And we're going to travel on Carter Miller. So Matt Bernard out there for the Cougars for the first time, number seven. As Dewar with it, finds Desmond open in the corner over a hill, it's no good. And Miles Hamilton dives on the floor, can't corral the rebound. Huskies will get it 14 to shoot. Desmond with it, watched by Hamilton, finds Robinson. Right hand drive, off glass, no good. And once again, the Huskies are going to come away with it. It's too bad. I think if Robinson had actually gone into contact there instead of fading all the way to that right side, he would have been going to the line for two. Noah Nickel with it. It's a better job on that out-of-bounds play defensively by the Cougars. We saw that work many times last night. And a turnover here as the Huskies not aware of how much time was left on the shot clock. Alex Dewar in for Robinson. After an offensive explosion in the first quarter, Cougars only with four so far here. Huskies with six, not much better. Hillis skips to his brother, Ben. Can't get it to go. And Nickel will run. Desiman, good look to Dewar. Dewar over Bernard, no good. And Ben Hills has the rebound. And right now, it's not even as if the, the Huskies are getting bad shots. They just aren't falling. Now there's a running explosion. And Dewar finishes over teams. Hamilton. And another turnover here. Desimon three. No good. You can see Coach Charlie just kind of hung his head there on that one. Ben Hillis gets the foul. He'll shoot. Foul's called on Addison Dewar. That's one of those from, from the Huskies. If Desimon hits it, it's a great shot. It's a huge momentum shot. The other way, the Cougars draw the foul. Good heads up play by Ben Hillis to go to the basket and draw the contact. Well, we saw Moore and Desmond do that last night as well, taking that real quick pull up three in transition. So, obviously, something they're very accustomed to. But that one, just too much momentum going forward for Chan Desmond. Dewar with it to Nickel. Cougar nice showing some pressure here. You know, Nickel. Nickel was a player last night that put on a bit of a show, sparked his team with his intensity on defense and his assists. Carter Miller comes away with that out of the pile. One on five, though. And the Cougars turn it over. Sloppy with the basketball here, Regina. And a one. Strong finish and do her nice, no, lovely spin move there from the first year. We talked about these first years on the Huskies. They're going to be problems way for a while now. They have a young team. Doer and one complete. And it's now a nine point game. 4.30 to go here, first half. Cougars lead at 37-28. Claire Juice goes to the basket, can't get it to go. And that was just kind of like a one-on-five opportunity there for Claire Juice. No rebounders, everyone else standing around the three-point line. And a mofo with the tip in. Great drive by Dewar.
Kuski open. He'll shoot it and bury it. Braden Kuski, 4-3. Back up to a double-digit lead for Regina. Nice job of finding that soft spot in the zone. Second foul on Ben Hillis. See Vallis come off the bench. Fouls on Sam, not Ben, but Ben's going to sit down. Vallis in for him. Doers at the line. Well, Vallis with it. Carter Miller has it. Finds Hillis. Vallis. And Desimond's going to get called there. And Desmond the knew check. right as soon as he put his hand in there, he knew he was going to get called for that foul. Tried to show that he wasn't in there anymore, putting his hands way out, but damage is already done. Vows at the line, knocks it down. Cam's now got five points on the game. Eleven-point Cougar lead, 42-21. Led by 15 after the first quarter. Off a foot out of bounds. Robinson, watched by Claire Just. It's his head down. And a nice finish off the glass. Crafty move. Really nicely done. A couple head fakes. Got Claire Just in the air, stepped right around him. Hunter Miller in traffic. Some fight there for Magina. Foul here on Amofu. Should be Carter Miller, I believe, at the line there. Shooting um, two I'm, on bonus. I'm very confused. Everyone, <laughs> the players are even standing around. I'm not sure what's happening here. No one has gone to the foul line yet. Should be bonus. It's a fifth team foul, so we should be shooting bonus. And after that, it's going to be a Carter Miller free throw attempt. It's good. We thought it was a tie up. There was a foul call on the Huskies. Carter Miller makes one of two, and it's a 10 point Cougar lead. Beautiful. And one. Chan Desmond, just such a crafty player with the ball. All these no look passes, he's able to pull off without any effort, it looks like. I'm sure it's a lot of effort, but it looks like no effort <laughs> up here. That's a talent. Pure talent. Ooh. 
just grazes the rim. Kosky's going to let it fly. Long. The Cougars can't come away with it because Lawrence Moore is going to come down with a loose ball. Great crossover off the glass and a great tip by Mofo. And he's been a problem for the Cougars on the old glass now with nine points. Seven rebounds. Make that eight rebounds. And it's just more being crafty. You just throw the ball up because you know everyone's coming over to you. And Mofo's going to be wide open right. for the offensive rebound. Well, we have a tie up here. Now, I was wondering why Dewart was taken out of the game just because he was playing so well, but it looks like he has a nosebleed over there on the Husky sideline, so. Good eyes. Thank you, young, young eyes. Carter Miller for a three. And that's a much needed basket for Regina. Forty six thirty seven Cougars lead at one thirty to go here in the first half on Canada West TV. Nickel for three. No good. And Kuski has the rebound. No look pass to Bernard. Oh, that's that'll the be other offense way. for sure. Addison Dewar had him lined up. Shoulder right into him. Great transition defense there. Bernard leaves the game. Ben Hillis is back for Regina. It's Kuski, Vallis, Hillis, Claire Juice, and Miller. Desimon Moore, Nickel, Dewar, and Amofo for the Huskies. Turnover. Miller. Lays it in. Beautiful. Uh, Carter Miller. Straight line. You got to like that if you're Steve Burrows. For a big man to be able to do that, it's... It's a great skill set. Lob's no good. And Miller gets fouled. And he'll shoot two here. But Amofu sitting on 9.8 rebounds, so really good half for him. 13 and 5 for Carter Miller now. He's going to add to that. Well, Matt Bernard out there now for Regina. He hits both. 50-37 well, Cougars now with that 13-point lead. Nickel, Robinson in the corner, over top of Alice, no good, and Claire Juice has it. Burroughs wants one shot. And there's 14 seconds left here in the half. Cam Vallis with the ball, watched by Robinson. Gets it back, lays it in, and that'll be a goaltend. This was on the glass. That is what you called a lucky bounce. That is a lucky bounce, bounce yep. Yeah. And they get the two up on the board, 52-37 now, Regina, with .2 on the clock. I think some kind of lob sequence here to Amofu. And no, no tip, no foul if you're the Cougars. 
Your halftime score, Cougars 52, Huskies 37. Cougars had a 15-point lead after the first quarter, and they able to have that here as we go into the half. We'll be back the second half on Canada West TV in 15 minutes.
Second half action underway here from the University of Virginia. Can West TV, Adam Hunter alongside me, Megan Chamberlain. Thanks for joining us. The Cougars start the second half with a 15 point lead, 52 37. They led by 15 after the first quarter. Near steal here as Carter Miller tips the pass. Robinson has it, crossover over Hillis, short. And it's going to go to the Cougars here. Hamilton, Clairjust, Hillis, Hillis, and Miller, Barker, Akintundi, Deciman, Robinson, and Moore for the Huskies. Same 10 starters on the floor, Megan. First half and pretty much what we saw last night as well. Was the Cougars kind of controlling the game. Huskies making a few runs, but the Cougars able to keep a double-digit lead. Yeah, but then kind of unleash the beast there for Saskatchewan last night with Moore. So it'll be interesting to see if it's the same kind of thing tonight. It's a great move by Chan Desiman, Regina player, playing for the Huskies. This crosses over, gets in the lane, and draws the foul. He'll shoot two. Desmond here on the second attempt. It's good. Fifty-two thirty-eight. Well, as Desmond hits one and two from the line. Hamilton. Akintuni on him. Finds Hillis. Ten to shoot. Nice pass from Sam ah. into Clairjuiced. And one. Beautiful look down low there from Sam Hillis. The Cougars, I mean, they might have broken the record for for, dri for dribbles in the half court there <laughs> before Claire Juice finds it. Whatever works. That's the second foul on Desmond. And Claire Juice with a chance to put it in here. Desmond does knock it down. Oh. 55, 38 Cougars now, 17 points. And I believe it's their largest lead. You can see the Cougars really worried about more. Carter Miller rips down the rebound. It's pass to Hamilton on Robinson. Can't get it to go. Claire's you saves it to Hillis. Good hustle there by Gresh. The Cougars get another chance here with 10 to shoot. Hamilton looks at it. No good. And another old board by Gresh. Two on the possession. And a turnover. We saw that in the first half too. A lot of good chances on the old boards, just no finish. We've played almost two minutes here of the second half. Cougars lead at 55-38. You see a bit more movement here for the U of S Huskies on offense and it pays off. Moore likes that bucket. That's, we saw a lot of that <laughs> last night. As Moore knocks it down. It's first points of the game. And Sam Hills is stripped. Good look from Ben. Let's watch a replay here. They call the tie up, and the Cougars get the arrow. Well, they do force the turnover. Too bad Hamilton wide open in the corner, but good job for the Huskies getting their hands up on that pass. Hills behind the screen, close baseline, little floater, no good. Big rebound by Miles, and he puts it in. 
And that's always nice when you're shooting it from one corner to come in for that offside rebound. A huge percentage of the time, that's where the ball goes. Deciman. And he's fouled by Hamilton. The second on Hamilton. So the Cougars here reaching a little bit, last couple possessions. Just so quick with that first step. And Deciman hits them both. Hillis, Claire Just. Hillis for three. Good. Sam Hillis knocks down the three. He's got 10 points. Moore for three, answers. It's just like you said, he likes that basket. And Moore picks Hillis at half. And Ben Hillis commits the foul, Moore will shoot two. With a second foul on Hillis, third Cougar team foul. And Ben Hillis just doing his best to not let Moore get that shot up for the and one opportunity. So we have Barker, Dewar, Dewar, Deciman, and Moore for the Huskies. And Hillis, Vallis, Hamilton, Miller, and Hillis for Regina as Moore hits the first. Hill's jump pass intercepted by his high school teammate. Sixty forty eight. Moore is going to try and shoot that. It's no good. Hit that right off of Ben Hillis's leg. Smart play <laughs> from Chan Desmond. You can hear the Cougar bench say no touch. They want Vallis to deny Moore fully. And Cougars just cannot guard more. And Seaburls is going to take a timeout here. Well, you could see Burroughs yelling that entire play out exactly what was going to happen, too. So I think that's just why he's unhappy. But it's just good execution from the Huskies. Second foul here on Barker. And Carter Miller will go to the line, try and settle the team down, hit a couple free throws. So Lawrence Moore was scoreless in the first half, already with 11 here in the third. And Miller's short on the free throw. Hits the second. Sixty-one, fifty-one, five thirty to go here. Cougars with a ten-point lead. They've led by as many as seventeen. Deciman, great look to Dewar in the corner. That's long. Dewar tries to follow his own shot. Hamilton finds Hillis. The Cougars may have numbers here. Vallis is going to step back and shoot the three in transition. Rolls out, There's and Barker another. pulls down the rebound. The Cougars. Could have had a two on one there in a layup. Just didn't recognize it early enough. And Deciman gets called for the offensive foul here. Nice job by Ben Hillis moving his feet. Taking the contact from Deciman. We have Nick Bernard into the game for Regina, replacing Hamilton. 
Moore with such quick hands out there. Sam Hill is sweeping go. And he's going to shoot two. They're going to call it on the side here. Good strong move from Sam, uh, from Sam Hillis. The foul near number six, Alex Ewer gets first. Nice. Nice play by Hillis. It's that hesitation dribble. Just such good use of it. Wow. And Moore is just picking apart this Cougars defense. Bernard tries to force it inside to Hillis. Getting a look at that one here. You can see the Huskies trying to execute here. Last time they got more wide open three. Setting up into something a little bit different here. Having Baker in the corner, or sorry, Barker. Moore does get it, but Vallis is there. Off the dribble three, no good. And Barker, strong rebound. Cougars do steal it eventually as Vallis has it. Pushes the ball here. Finds Bernard. Hillis baseline and he stepped out of bounds. See a timeout here. Time out. The Huskies. All right, Cougars so they have gotten this lead down to 10. They've done a good job. Moore has definitely turned it on, scoring 11 points this quarter. And like you said, you can hear Burrow screaming, no touches, no touches, no touches, make him pass, make him pass, make him pass, because he's thinking anyone else, could let anyone else beat us tonight, not more. Believe it or not, Adam, I'm getting texts correcting myself from Palm Springs. 70% of the time, the rebound goes to the opposite side. That's, that's Craig Chamberlain math. We'll have to take his word for it. Great crowds tonight again. So it's Miller, Hillis, Vallis, Kuski, and Bernard for Regina. It's Ben Hillis and Nick Bernard. And we have Dewar, Dewar, Moore, Barker. The Huskies only have four players out there. From what I can see. Oh, and Desimon just stepped on. Nice Backdoor cut. cut there by Desimon. Open three in the corner for Dewar is no good. But Barker again, crashing the glass, grabs that rebound. And Burroughs talks about him being in his fifth year with the Huskies. Barker is just a grinder. He just keeps going and going until someone stops him. More circus shot. Barker again gets another offensive rebound. And Desimon is going to make the Cougars pay there. Lucky for the Cougs that they were able to escape there because they gave the Huskies every opportunity to score on that possession. And you got to credit that last possession to Barker, just getting so many offensive rebounds working. And Miller throws it away. More with the steal. And Carter Miller called with a foul. It'll be his. 
Technical foul as well here on Carter Miller. Burroughs unhappy with that one. It had to be Carter Miller it's gets the, yeah. to the personal foul and then picks up the technical foul right after. Well, tough sequence there for Miller as he gets called for the technical the foul and he turned it over. So Moore's going to shoot the technical. He wasn't the one fouled. Misses it. So we're going to see Dewar shoot the free throws now. So Matt Bernard's out there now. Dewar's going to shoot. This is Alexander Dewar, knocks it down. Both Dewar brothers out there, along with the Bernard twins for the Cougars. So two points out of a potential three there. Vallis crossover in the lane, finds Ben Hillis open three, short, crashed, and Moore ends up with it. Huskies have numbers here. Decimate on Hillis. And another offensive foul. And that's the third charge that Ben Hillis has taken in this game. Second one, I believe, against Chan Decimate as well. it's going to be the fourth foul. Just too bad because that circus shot. Coach not happy with that one. But a good job by Ben Hillis putting his body out there again. Like you said, third charge tonight. It's an eight-point game here. The Cougars have been quiet offensively here. The ball needs to swing sides. Bernard open three. Rolls out. Hillis and one. She steals the ball and lays it in. He just completely ripped the ball out of the hands there of Robinson. Hills completes the three-point play. Big possession by Regina. Sixty-six fifty-five Regina. Hillis with more over top of him goes glass, but Robinson pulls down the board and lays it in. Warning there just because of the grabbing the ball from the hoop, putting it straight onto the ground by Robinson. So a warning to the Saskatchewan Huskies. But you can see the intensity is definitely starting to pick up. Nine point game. And Barker and Bernard come together. Barker's going to call for the foul. It'll be his third. And we haven't seen a Mofu for a while. So quick stuff for Barker. Did his job. Picks up that third foul, unfortunately. So just getting him a little bit of a sit down here. Put a Mofu back in. Nick hits one and two from the line. You can see as a second time, Burroughs electing not to put anyone in for offensive rebounding on foul shots. Just too concerned about what's happening on the defensive end. 67-57 Regina, 10-point lead. Dewar on the drive on Hillis, shoots over top. Can't get it to go. 
And it's going to be over the back here Shooting. on the Huskies. Shooting foul because of the bonus. A little through with the foul. His second. Cougars are at the bonus. Nick Bernard on the line. So Warden's out there for the first time. Number nine replaces Ben Hills for the last 63 seconds here of the quarter. McBernard hits the first free throw. And Bernard hits them both. Nick now with eight points. Well, Warden's out there to watch more. And a nice play by Moore to get him over the ball. And Moore, you're so concerned about him on the offensive end with him dribbling that he has that skill to kind of pinpoint passes. Good split there by Matt. Ballas blocked by Robinson. Two second differential shot and game clock. 20 seconds on the shot clock here for the Huskies. They trail by 10, 69-59. Lopped Amofu, can't get it to go, goes for the tip. Kuski comes away with it. And he's going to come out of the pack, draw on the foul, and he'll shoot. Well, let's watch the replay here. Kuski draws the reach in. That's a tough foul to give up, especially when you're shooting into bonus. Kuski short on the first. Cougars out 12 of 18 from the line here. Husky's 14 of 19. And Kuski goes 0 for 2. At the buzzer. And the Cougars will take a 10 point lead into the fourth quarter, 69 59. The University of Virginia, 69. The University of Saskatchewan, 59. All right, Cougar fans. It's definitely going to come down to the wire here. 10 points is really nothing to these Huskies. Like you said last night, saw a seven point, or sorry, seven minutes left in the fourth quarter, 16 point differential. And the Huskies come back to win by five, so the What's Huskies that? in the fourth last night scored 44 points, which is unbelievable. Someone said that to me today, and I was, I was here, I was watching it, we were commentating it, but even like hearing it, it seems insane. And out of those 44 points, half were from Moore. So you got to think there's something about the Huskies in these fourth quarters that they just love. We've seen some replays here of Ben taking some charges from Chan Desimon. You gotta think that some of that can go back to high school days, knowing how to guard a guy. You play him so much in practice that that, that kind of translates into university as well. Even before, you know, they are club, club basketball players, played tons, tons together. There's one there. So it's Moore, Robinson, Akintundi, Mofu, and Alex Dewar for the Huskies. Crossover by Moore. He's slick with the handle, but he turns it over as Gresh Clairjuice with the steal. 
Ben Hillis on Alex Dewar. And he'll draw the foul and shoot. Good strong move going right into Dewar's body. I think if Mufu hadn't tipped that, that was going in for an and one, so good job by him. Hills hits the first free throw. And the second. There's a good high hedge from Carter Miller. Going to steal for Cavallis, but he stepped out. Well, six to shoot for the Huskies here. One shot on the shot clock. Claire Juice gets called for the foul. I think they're carding that, calling that on Carter Miller. It's four on Carter Miller. Moore misses the first. Makes the second. <laughs> Matt Bernard to Claire Just. Huskies in that zone. And another whistle here. And so we've played 58 seconds, three whistles so far. Four on the foul and it's third. Mark will come in for the Huskies. Vallis, spin. Claire Juice has it, and he's fouled back in Tindy, so that'll be the third team foul already on the Huskies. Claire's use with it. He's got Robinson on him. Good. It's already the fourth team foul on the Huskies. Vallis blocked by Robinson. Good defense. And the save. Smart play there from Robinson. This game has grinded to a halt. now sitting on 13 points 14 excuse me you can see it's starting to become exactly like it was last night a little bit more intensity from the Huskies more starting to pick it up offensively Coors standing around on offense a little bit here Hillis creates Hamilton lays it in. Miles Hamilton. 
Cougars lead by better, 11 here. Better job of, you talked about last night, they went east-west too much, going north-south to the hoop. Moore makes it look easy. 16 points in the second half for him. And Hillis to the basket. Ben now with 12. Moore with a good look inside to Barker. Good and finish. One. And again, that's what Moore can do. He just attracts so much attention that the other Husky players find themselves open. That's three now on Hillis. Barker to shoot one, long. Well, the Huskies are gonna get the rebound here. Dewar open for three. Almost made the Cougars pay dearly. They're having a tough night shooting from the three-pointer, three-point line, sorry. Sam Hillis in the corner, no good. Claire's used with the rebound. And he's fell back into the and now we're going to see bonus the rest of the way for the final 7-15 for Regina. If you like free throws, we have a game for you. <laughs> big shout out to Sydney Hansen watching the game at home. She loves free throws. <laughs> She's a big fan. Gresh knocks two down. Got 14. Cruz back to that 11 point lead with 7 12 to go. That's going to be his fifth foul. Desmond's going to foul out. I believe that was three of those fouls were offensive. And I, I believe that four of Chan's fouls are charges. Four of the five he got. He fouls out two nights in a row. See Dewar check in for. Oh, what a take. Great take there from Miles Hamilton. The look off for the handoff. A little upset with himself that he didn't finish that one. Long on the free throw, so Cougars can put this game away if they hit some free throws. <laughs> It's been an Achilles heel for them, They're though. They're going to be shooting free throws the rest, of the rest of the quarter here. 6.49 still to go. 11-point lead. Hamilton hits the second and two. It's just a bully move inside. We need to try with that help side to stay in front of him. You saw Sam Hillis got caught on an angle, and if you're going to get caught on an angle against a guy like Moore. Well, both teams are going to be in bonus the rest of the way here. We've got nine fouls in three and a half, three, three and a half minutes. Hamilton for three. It's long. Matt Bernard with the rebound. The ball is just moving really slowly for the Cougars, it seems like. It's getting Blair stuck. Juiced. Nice finish. And 
Claire Juice, of course, has the unfavorable assignment of guarding more. Inside a doer. No good. Hillis with the rebound. Good pass. Nice tip in by Matt Bernard. Throwing that one up. What the heck is and happening here? Amofu comes down with it. Not a bad idea when you got a guy like that on the floor. Three for Robinson after that hustle play. No good. Oh my goodness. That was not needed. That's one where you just got to slow it down. There's no need to run. You got to run smart. It was him. It was Matt Bernard versus three Husky players. Moore wants the pull up here. Step back over Claire's used. No good. And we got a wedgie here. Seen a replay here. Hillis taken to the basket, getting the foul call. Well, 82-69 here on Canada West TV. Cougars in the lead, and it has been easy. They just had trouble putting the Huskies away now two nights in a row. And those shots that were falling for more last night, I think he must have shot 90% last night in the fourth quarter, having a little bit more trouble. The Cougars upping their defense a little bit more, really paying attention to him, forcing the other Huskies to beat them tonight. Hills, nice dribble, out of trouble. What's the basket? And Sam just being a little bit too over aggressive there. The Hills now commits his fourth foul. Frustration. at the line misses the first he's going to shoot the second that's no good white foul here so I think we're going to be shooting on the other end Another foul out for the Huskies there. So Akintunde fouls out now. So we have Deciman and Akintunde fouled out. And Sam Hills will shoot the free throws. Hills missed the first. Hits the second.
445 to play, 83-69 Regina. And Sam Hill also uh, going to get the steal here. Nice hands there from Sam. Just can't control the layup, but a great take by Sam there. Fourteen point lead for Regina. Moore's trying to set up that three. We saw this last night, Megan. Yep. And he turns it over as Hamilton gets the steal in the passing lane. It's a better job on the screen though by Claire Just. And Addison Dewar is gonna get a call with a foul. Hamilton this is his last two now from the line. And Hamilton, it's one to two. Four minutes left now, 14 point Cougar lead. Nice defense here from Sam. And Hamilton's going to come away with it. Great finish by Miles Hamilton. But in Canada, he's kilometers, Hamilton. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Adam. And we saw this last night, Moore hitting the rainbow three, the that's, hand in his face. That's a shot he wants, but it's so hard to guard because like you said, he's backing up, hand in his face. You think you're right there, but he still gets it off. Hamilton with his third foul. We call the offense. Here's a nice press break from the Huskies. Well, and Barker can't get it to go, but Dewar picks up the rebound. Short jumper is good. You know, 12 points, three minutes left. This is definitely not out of reach for the Huskies. Bernard with it. Nine to shoot, lots of time still for Regina. Claire Juice looks at it, shoots it, no good. Another loose ball from Bernard inside to Hamilton. That was a good save. Three. Blocked there by Robinson and Barker pulls it down. Missed opportunity there from Regina. Nearly an eight-second call. And a block by Bernard. Sam Bernard picks up the Regina foul on his second. J.B. Robinson on the foul line. Robinson rolls it in. 80. 6.75 here. Cougars lead it. 2.17 to play. Cougars looking to split the series with their provincial rivals. Huskies looking to come back two nights in a row. You see Carter Miller enter the game with his four fouls. Just need a bigger body down there to get some boards. Well, a press break here for Regina. We're watching Canada West TV. Thanks for joining us from Regina tonight. Happy they're with us. Carter Miller picks it up in the corner. Claire Juice looks at it. Eight to shoot here. Ben Hills takes the screen from his brother. Hamilton rises and fires. And Barker pulls down the rebound. Oh, Huge what a rebound board. there by Ben Hillis on the missed three by Moore. Now 
We'll turn over there. And Moore lays it in. And it's an eight point game here with 120 left. Risky pass there by Claire Just. I think Claire Just is just lucky that Sam Hillis is bigger. Ben Hillis hits the deck here. He's slowing it up. Also shoot two here. First is short. Hits one, makes it a three possession game. Robinson's gonna hoist the three. And nail it. And the Cougars, I don't know what they're doing on defense there. You got to get up, put some pressure, and make someone dribble the ball. Uh, Nine point game here, 87 78, 57 seconds left. It's like you're looking at deja vu. This happened last night. You got punched in the face multiple times last night from that three point line. So when you see them come out there tonight and stand on that three point line and start hoisting threes and making threes, you got to think what did you learn from the night before? What did you learn from, from losing that 16 point lead? You need to get out on shooters. The Cougars choose to take it in the backcourt. They get a longer shot clock. Well, Sam Hellis is going to shoot the free throws. Fouls on Robinson. His third. Cougars tonight been to the line. This will be shots 32 and 33 for free throws. Sam knocks down a couple clutch ones. We got 13 points. And Coach Rollick's going to call a timeout here for the
to the three. No good. Then Sam Hills pulls it down. Huskies will go for the steal. And they will put grab Hillis. So, so far, no more magic. As Moore has 27 points all in the second half. And he can score, folks. 27 for him. 13 for Alex Dewar. Good night from the first year. And the Cougars look like a more balanced offensive attack. We look up there. 16 points for Claire Juice. 13 for Sam Hillis. 10 for Miles Hamilton. And 13 for Ben Hillis. So some good numbers tonight, put up tonight by the Cougar starters. Moore hands it off to Mofa who lays it in. And that'll be the fifth on Mofu if it's him. That's three foul outs tonight for the Huskies. And Ben Hills knocks them down both. Giving the Cougars a nine-point lead here. 30 seconds to play in the game. Sam Hill has got a piece of that three-point shot. These teams are playing to the final whistle. I'll tell you that. Robinson corner three. And he buries it. Well, that was a nice shot there from Robinson. Off balance, still makes it fall. A foul will be on Alex Dewar, his fourth. And still just a six-point game, two possessions, so big free throws coming up here from Hamilton. No good from Hamilton. And Hamilton gets the roll. Huskies use their last time out. They trail by seven with 24 seconds left here. Will be another advance. And I'm guessing another quick more three or maybe Robinson who's hit a couple. Well, and it's a hard time out too because because it's your last time out, you have to give a bunch of information in the next minute that you have in your time out. It's hard to communicate on the fly sometimes. 24 seconds left in this game. So yeah, draw something up. Like maybe it's for Robinson, maybe it's for Moore. Get a three-point shot, try to get a rebound. If not, foul again. The Cougars will play that playing game, hosting next Friday, and we're not sure where their seating will be. Off the wait and see. They'll stay tuned for their opponent. Skip it over to Moore, and Miles Hamilton knocks it away. And lays it in. And that's going to ice it. Good anticipation from Miles Hamilton, knowing the ball is going to find its way back to Moore somehow. Moore hoists it from about 28 feet, and that ball ricocheted off Clergy's eye. Hopefully he's okay. 11 seconds left, Cougars lead by nine. And they give up a layup here off the inbound. 
Steve Burrells hangs his head in shame there because he's mad. Well, still a seven point game here. And Hillis will shoot the two free throws, so. It's going to be his fifth as well, so. Fourth Husky to go out in the fourth quarter tonight. So Cougars will come away with that split. Well, the Cougars will improve two. 14 and six. The Huskies will drop two. 11 and nine. A tremendous regular season for Regina Cougars. And they'll host a playoff game next Friday. For Megan Chamberlain, I'm Adam Hunter. Thanks for joining us this weekend on Canada West TV. We'll see you next Friday night. Cougars and their opponent to be determined. Have a great rest of your weekend. Good night.